Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane once again and in this fourth tutorial video in this series we're going to take a look at binding parameters and security with PDO okay so up until now we have been just doing static um, queries with our database and um, now let's say for example we want to select from users um, where ID equal to one for example right but let's say that this one here comes from um, some variable name so for example let's say ID equal to one right so what happens is we have to concatenate the ID to this string here so we say ID okay so let's just assume that this ID here comes from some um, form or form being submitted by user through login or whatever right so we are taking input from a user and then we adding that to our query and that's very dangerous because you can have SQL injection and um, stuff like that attacking your database script so we don't want that and there's something called bind param in PDO and that helps you get um, around that issue so what happens instead of just saying prepare and just executing it what you do is after using the prepare function, we call the bind param um, function on the statement. So let's just say statement and then bind param. But before we do that, let's just make sure that this ID here is not being concatenated directly in our string. So what we're going to have to do is put a, a dynamic param here so let's say semicolon um, or colon ID and then next here we're going to bind this um, column ID to this ID here variable right so let's just say this is user ID it doesn't have to be called ID it can be called anything it's just a regular variable so what we're gonna do we're gonna say colon ID we're going to bind it to this variable here called user id and it's going to be a type of um, int let's just say param uh, pdo sorry it's a static variable in the pdo class so let's say param and it has to be an int okay so we're forcing it to be an int can't be anything else if it's something like a string we might get an error okay so let's come here and say result statement fetch okay so we print out the result let's just remove all of this out so if everything goes right we should get one object which is the user with the id of one so let's go back to our browser and let's refresh and as you can see we've got that user with the id of one so we can also just say um, give us an associative array so we can say pdo fetch a suck and then we can just get rid of the numbered items here so let's refresh our browser and as you can see we've got the user with the id of one if we change this to two here that will give us the user with the id of two okay so that's how um, binding works in PDO. And there is another way you can do it. Let's say you have more than one item that you want to put dynamically here. So let's say you have a username um, as well. And the username is Lamin. And you wanted to do two checks when the user ID equals to two and the username is Lamin2. Okay. So you can go ahead and say where ID equals to ID and say and you know username equal to username and that should work as well so let me just duplicate this let's say username and that instead of being a param int it's going to be a param of um, string so str okay so if we go back to the browser and then we refresh that 
we shall see exactly um, this user here because he has an ID of two and the username is Lamin2. So if we change that to um, Lamin1 or just Lamin and an ID of one, we should get the first record in the database. Right, but this is tedious. We are repeating this function here. There is a much shorter way of doing that. Instead of using the bind param, you can just pass in an array in the execute function here. So you can just say this. And then you can pass in your key value of um, dynamic parameter. So you can say ID. And the value for that is user ID. And you can say um, username. And the value for that is username. Okay, so let's just comment these out. And, um, comment this one out as well. So this will work exactly as it did before. So let's refresh the browser. As you can see, we've got the user with the ID 1. If we change this to 2 and Lamin 2 respectively, this will get the second record in the database. Okay, as you can see, we've got Lamin 2. And regardless, this also works for fetch all, so it doesn't just um, work for fetch. That is, you can do it with um, items that are returning or queries that are returning more than one record. Okay, but since we have restricted this to um, user with ID two and username with Lamin two, it will return an array, but that array will contain only one item. Okay, as you can see. We have an array with the index zero, but then we have just re received one result here. Okay, so um, that's it, guys, for using PDO bind params, and um, this is very good for security and getting rid of SQL injection in your code. Because um, if you use the bind param functions um, like this. Uh, PDO automatically escapes any user input that you have passed in. So any extra scripts that might be run um, through here, um, PDO will automatically escape that for you. I didn't go into details into um, SQL injection. I think there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube that cover that. And you can do your own research on what that is. But just be rest assured that if you use PDOs like this, I'm using the bind param or um, in this syntax that is doing them individually or just passing in an array here that you will be exempted from SQL injection attacks. And um, that brings us to the end of this tutorial video. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.